Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures. I've got a new, well at least new for me, Comet Lord Miniatures model off of the print plate and I could not wait to put this guy together because I'd completely forgotten about him and I was digging through my files trying to remember just where he was and I managed to find him. These are the parts to build a barrow breaker. What's a barrow breaker? I'm not 100% sure other than the fact that they, I guess, break into barrows. Uh, beats me. And why they need giant hammers or mouths in their bellies, I, I could not tell you. First of all, this guy is really big. I mean, let's get our witch hunter friend in here because he is a nice baseline measurement. And without a base, he barely goes up to the thing's knee. Okay. We've got the chest. Boo. Interestingly enough, the legs, I believe, on every version of it are all the same. The chest, arms, and head actually have an armored and unarmored version. So I printed up out of three poses. I believe this was the third one because it has a nice, fun, snaky tongue jetting out of it. All of them have these big, giant mauls. They are hollowed out. It'd be really heavy otherwise and then you can see well, at least kind of see the head it's all chained on very ornamental armor on it and then the arms also have very fancy looking shoulder pads I don't recall if the drapery embellishments are on the unarmored version I didn't print that Funny enough, this arm actually comes from one of the other poses. At the time I printed this, the arm that's supposed to be here had an issue, and it's because I had forgotten to download the corrected version of it. Uh, it's been corrected since then, and I believe a lot of these are ending up either on Common Lord's website itself or a soon-to-be-open My Mini Factory page, so you guys can keep an eye peeled for that. But I think with a little bit of green stuff in that little spot there it'll work out fine so i'm gonna get him all put together we're gonna not break our witch hunter friend there and we'll show you how he stacks up we'll grab a couple other comet lord models while we're at it all right we've got our barrel breaker all primed and put together here and it is a lovely funky model i gotta say and despite not having the original correct arm I think it turned out okay. I've got him on barely on a 60 millimeter base. So he is going to be quite tall. You might want to go bigger if you have like an 80 millimeter base. That might be an option. In case you're curious how big this dude is. You've got one of the faceless that I have yet to print. Also a common lord figure. We'll grab our traditional witch hunter friend here. You can see, yeah, he's a big dude. A very big dude. Let's see if I can get him all in screen there. Almost, maybe without the base. So I wasn't 100% sure which way his stomach mouth was supposed to go, but that's the way we went with it. Seems like he'd be kind of fun to have in a undead army. Maybe he's like an undead giant. My other thought was some kind of a chaos creature. Demon Prince, maybe? Just out of curiosity, in case you guys are curious. Um, I'm so slow printing this stuff out that I actually was printing a bunch of other Comet Lord models, like some of his recent Spectres. I thought these were kind of cool. I think I've got a Chain Rasp. I thought I had a Chain Rasp guy here. Maybe I don't. I don't. All I got is the big dudes. Nice alternative or additional model. And then I printed up a couple of their turtle friends as well. I dig the eyes all over the shell, much like a. Oh, what was that dude in Devil Man? There's the turtle demon. In case you're curious, with some of the other turtle friends that Common Lord has printed. 
Torok. Their Turtle Paladin. Actually, this guy's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm just that slow. This is like a multitude of months, <laughs> spanning like three or four months between each one. I think that's the same guy. This is an older model. Printed some time ago. Anyway, I, I think visually, as always, the Comet Lord stuff is very unique and stands apart from a lot of the other fantasy themed Patreon and STL 3D file releases. Um, I can't think of many other monsters that look like this. I don't know about you guys. Uh, and I'm always down for just a sheer variety of funky stuff like this. So, if you haven't ever had a chance to check his things out, absolutely go take a look at Common Lord stuff. Uh, I know he's transferred all of his files actually to my mini factory now. So, if you have a my mini factory account, I will put a link down there for you as well. And I know for me, it's been a great, great ease trying to dig through all the files. If I'm looking for one little part, and need to replace something. So, there you have it. Like I said, we'll have the links down below, so please, by all means, take a look and see if something strikes your fancy. With that said, this has been High Lord Tamerlane with Obscurities and Miniatures, saying thanks for watching, and we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.